Greetings everybody, welcome to G4G on YouTube. I'm Napalm Dawn and I have two the cat running around on my desk somewhere. Hopefully he doesn't create too much of a ruckus, but you can't see him. So you'll just have to take my word for it. Today we're going to discuss how to install and play Marvel Snap on your Android devices. We're going to use BlueStacks as the example in this video. And there goes Chewie causing a ruckus. Um, we are going to use BlueStacks in this video so that I can record it on PC. But you can do it on any Android device. You'll see how. Links will be in the description. I really cannot stress that enough to expand the description. YouTube has changed things a little bit with descriptions. But when I talk about files in these videos and everything, please look there. There's a lot of people on recent Marvel Avengers Alliance videos saying, you know, where can I download it? Where can I download it? It's in the description and it's been up there since day one. So please do some of your own legwork here. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to give a shout out and a thank you to Casino as he is the one who provided links to these files. According to him, he was on the official Snap Discord and got booted for sharing this information, but wanted to do so anyway so that people can begin to enjoy the game and potentially even get a head start. I do believe in some regions of the world, the game is out already. Um, friend of the channel, Darth Plato, has stated that it's out in the Philippines, and I've always been insanely curious why closed betas and open betas and, and trial runs of products always seem to pick the Philippines and the Pacific Rim. It's rather consistent, even dating back to, say, Marvel Avengers Alliance Tactics on Facebook, except MAAT or MOT did seem to have some other countries where you could play it, like Canada and even Brazil. Um, but I, I still just find it weird. It always seems to be the Pacific Rim. Maybe it's just a manageable geographic location that is also fairly high and accessible tech. I, I don't know. If anybody has any kind of an answer, let me know. But I, I feel like it's been since never that somebody tries a game out in the States or even other countries in North America. Um and then puts it somewhere else or I never hear of any European betas it, it just always seems to be uh, Pacific Rim so these links will be in the description the first one is the link to download the actual game in the split APK form this link will be to get the SAI or split APK installer on Google Play I'm going to link it to basically help you guys get directly to it so that you're not messing around going, is this it? Is this it? What, what did Napalm say to search for? Was it SAI? There's like a whole bunch of them. Uh, I'm just going to put the link straight in the description. The other thing you need to know is that if you're going to do it on BlueStacks, you need to be running the 64-bit version. You will see here that I, in fact, am running the 64-bit version um, this one very specifically is the Nougat 64 on my laptop where I do actually play Marvel Snap, not necessarily here on my main PC. It's actually running um, Pi 64-bit beta. So it is essentially Android P on my laptop where I know it works. And this is Android N, a.k.a. Nougat, in case you never knew android names their operating systems after desserts so you can go all the way back to e for eclair and d for donut but i don't remember what a and b were and i kind of also forget what c was i started around c i think it was maybe d i started around d on a droid eris uh with a rollerball and i remember eclair was really big um, Honeycomb was uh, very well known because it was a tablet only version for a while. So, all right, let's go ahead. Oh, Gingerbread. Yeah, that was an early big one. And Froyo for F. 
So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. The other thing that you want to do, and this one I will not provide you with a link to, this one will be up to you because I don't feel the need to shove any file explorer down your throat when it comes to Android. You pick what you know works. Uh, Total Commander is really good. It's kind of old school, uh, but there are other ones like ES, File Explorer, and um, things like that. So before we go any further, I'm just going to show you what SAI looks like on the Google Play Store. It looks like this. Split APKs installer. Um, free. No ads. And it's from Polychromatic Fox. And again, my file manager is going to be Total Command Commander. So get a file manager. Get the SAI, the Split APK Installer. Those are all the first two things you want to do. The next thing you want to do is go to my video description and copy this link. Control C, right click and pick copy, whichever way you prefer. Get that link and go to your Android browser. For me, it's Chrome. You'll notice it's right here. It's actually up already. When you get to the page, you will see that it tells you you're going to download Marvel Snap. There is a free download. It's actually very small, so picking the free download is the way to go. Go through the prompts and get the file downloaded. Once it's downloaded, use your file explorer of whichever flavor you got and go and browse to the download folder of your Bluestacks or Android, everything I'm telling you is still valid for an Android device. You want to still install the Split APK installer and you still want to install a file manager. I can confirm this as I do play this on a Samsung Galaxy Tab 6. It works there. Um, I would think any Android version um, beyond M maybe, which was Marshmallow or something, maybe M or N should be able to handle this. So when you first download it, it's actually going to have the wrong name. It's going to end in .apks .apk. If you are any somewhat computer literate at all, you will know that's essentially two file extensions over there, and that's a problem. APK is the file type that Android normally uses to run installers. Android package file. XAPK is what alternate stores use, like APK Pure, Up to Down Store, things like that. They're slightly different installable APKs. They usually have the data file in there or the OBB, and you'll notice the big difference is that's like 1.2 gigs. So the first thing I'm going to do is long click on that and delete that, as I don't need that in there. That's 1.2 gigs. So. You'll see Marvel Snap sitting there in your downloads folder. Do whatever you do to get a menu of the file. For me in Total Commander, it's a long left click, pick rename. Take out the K, the P, the A, the period. Make the file end in .apks. This is very important. You'll notice, boom. As soon as I do that, the icon changes from generic to the actual icon of the file. That's how you know things are going to look up for you. The system now knows what to do with your file and it's like, oh, I know what that is. That's a split installer and that's Marvel Snap. I'm going to look in the installer for the correct icon. There it is, Marvel Snap. There's the circle, everything like that. So now if you click on it, say install, this feature has been removed from the Play Store. For, oh, okay. So you cannot install from Total Commander. If you... Let's see how... The blue... St okay, so I'm going to use the blue stacks built-in one. Here's Marvel Snap over here. We're going to click on it. And you'll notice Split APK Installer is up in the background. It's telling you to do stuff over here. Just hit install. Don't change these checks. Don't mess around with it. The icon is correct. There's the version 1.0.1. Don't touch any of these things over here. Uh, that's ARM64 code. 
uh, that's t- telling you it's for Android chipsets, not the Intel chipset chipsets. Excuse me. Uh, anytime you see ARM, it, that's always a mobile chipset. And then go ahead and hit install. And it says, do you want to install this application? It doesn't require any special access. Say yes. Give it a few moments. And it should have probably installed, even though it hasn't given me a message. So we go back home, and there it is. There's Marvel Snap. So let me run through the steps again for the people in the cheap seats. The first thing you want to do is pull up your Android device or your 64-bit BlueStack. In order to get the 64-bit version, look for the multi-instance manager on your toolbar. Click it. Make sure this says some kind of a 64-bit. I have confirmed it works on Pi, and now it looks like it's going to work on Nougat, which is a slightly older version, so that's good. Pretty good compatibility. Again, make sure you're running a 64-bit version at the time. Install, absolutely must install the split APK installer, S-A-I. Link will be in the description. Install some kind of a file manager app, ES File Explorer, Total Commander, whatever it is that you want to do. Obviously, Total Commander is not letting you install from its directory browsing. Keep that in mind. ES File Explorer should. If you are running BlueStacks, it looks like you can go to the Media Manager folder, pick Explore, go to the Downloads folder, and do it there. The only thing is the icon is not correct. Those are the steps you will need to take, and then you can click on Marvel Snap. It act, it operates in phone mode, so it will twist the orientation. Instead of being long like a tablet, it goes long vertically instead of long horizontally. Um, I have already done this. Their second dinner, Benjamin Brody from Hearthstone, on board with second dinner. We knew Second Dinner was looking for people to help build this game years ago. And um, it was just a a few years after MAA died, and we had a lot of hope for it. We were really excited. So when Battle Lines came out, everybody was like, is this the game? And um, people were like, no, no, this, this isn't Second Dinner. This is somebody else. So Second Dinner just kept working away in the background. And they've finally come out with footage and videos. And there is uh, Twitch streaming and all of that kind of stuff. So I am just very briefly going to set my middle monitor to my computer. Just want to make sure my ID does not show up on stream over there. We'll be back to uh, the game and everything in a second. Okay, so perfect. Here we go. Um, my, I've got Forge. I, I do believe that is Forge, right? As my avatar, we have Abomination, Chavez, Misty Knight, I believe Shang-Chi, Medusa, Cyclops. I think this is the, uh, and of course, uh, White Gorilla, Mbaku. Um, this looks so familiar. And I think I remember her from Marvel Future Fight. Is that Air or I forget her name. Um, I, God, I believe she's in Marvel. Do- oh, that's another one that we wondered if it was going to be the... Um, second dinner game or not with Marvel Duel and okay you just want to totally close out over there ladies and gentlemen computers Um, alright so we're going to go back into Snap there's Miles, Iron Man, Venom, Wolverine always good to see mutants Doctor Doom, Galactus always always super good to see mutants and sentinels on your art and everything because it lets you know they have full power to run around the marvel universe and not just be constricted to the mcu always love seeing that uh this game features a season pass 
and uh, Twig would be thrilled to learn about Blue Marvel being there. Twig was always a huge um, Blue Marvel fan from Marvel Avengers Alliance, even though a, a lot of a lot of us thought he was good. A lot of us thought he was just, yeah, he was he was okay, but he definitely could hit hard. The gear gets you into some settings. I'm actually going to bump this up to 60 FPS, because why not? And down here, you have the shop where you can buy some cards with gold. I believe these are just different art. Um, I think this game is not supposed to be pay to win, really, um, at all. But it might get slightly that way. I mean, Benjamin Brody did work on Hearthstone and Hearthstone is considered a very very high entry point for price and doing well uh, it looks like I don't have any of these gold bars well and enough of the gold bars to get the art but it looks like I can begin upgrading some of my cards with the other currency here uh, I know I have Iron Man on my deck so I'm gonna hit it and let's see what happens upgrade this card to uncommon and gain one collection level sure Ah, that's, that's, okay, that's what the collection level does, is it goes up this tree, and it gives us the rewards on the right and the left side. You can buy credits with gold, is this, are you saying that's free? Okay, cool, um, 50 of, uh, 50 credits in the store for free. Nice to know, here is your direct currency conversion. Um, it gets pretty hefty for 8,000 up at 100 and 300 down at 5. Um, these first two prices, 300, 700 at 5 and 10, don't really seem too bad. Fortunately, uh, the more you spend, the more value you get here. You're going up from 600 to 700, which is cool. But on this one, you're only going up 50. I've seen that pricing before where the first jump is big because this is 100 more than double but this is only 50 no i'm sorry that's not that's 19 bucks not um yeah okay no no i'm sorry 10 bucks and 20 bucks yeah why is that only 50 more that's that's actually kind of sad really math no worky good uh, you have the collection button, so here is my deck currently. I've only played but so much. However, I have won everything that I've played. I wonder if there is somewhere where it tells me my record. Oh, cool. I got a mission credit because I upgraded that card, so yay me. And I get a whole bunch of credits back. Ah, what a nice little loop over there. I get... I spend credits. I get... Um mission progress and i get the credits right back okay that's cool uh recruit season okay that took me there news takes you here where you can jump onto discord twitter and youtube you can also go to videos and see some announcements and everything uh there have been some streamers doing this game over on twitch i i have seen some over there myself so I, I think I will definitely be covering this game. It seems to be a lot of fun. It, it, it also theme, seems to be a, a thinking man's game. It is six rounds. You play simultaneously. You don't know what your opponent is playing. He doesn't know what you're playing until it's played because you play at exactly the same time. You have three zones each zone gives you some kind of a scenario, be it a buff or a debuff. The, the lands are from around the Marvel Universe here. Add two raptors on each side of this location because it's the Savage Land. So it's essentially starting us off as equal, but this is really good if you have a Punisher because if I drop the Punisher here, his power goes up based on the amount of cards there. So I want to keep that in mind, and you can only fit four in a section. So if I dump Quicksilver in here, I have a little bit of an early lead, but I want to make sure 
that I have room to put Punisher there for the early game. I have Medusa on reveal if this is at the middle location plus two power. So we want to hold on to that. Okay, I've never actually run out of time before. I am so sorry. Got me, John. All right, so Strange Academy. At the end of turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. I'm going to dump her there for now. We'll see what happens when it gets filled up. This button over here, the purple one, is what ends your turn. Clicking on your gems is like, oh, do you want to back out of what you've done? Mirror Dimension. At the end of turn three, transform into one of the other locations. So it's either going to be Savage Land or Strange Academy. So I might get a whole lot of Raptors there. Punisher is not up. Going to jump uh, Quicksilver over there. And I will go ahead and put Sentinel. Actually, wait a minute. On reveal, if you play a card here next turn, plus two power. Dump him there for now, because we want to see what he plays on that final. There's Punisher. Punisher is getting a boost because he's one versus two. At the end of turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. So things will get shifted out unless they're full. So we can try to put... If your opponent played a card here this turn, I'm going to guess he's going to put something in the middle and avoid proccing the Strange Academy. So I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to assume he's going to do something in the middle. Seems a good guess. And I'm going to do this to block off Savage Land. My one missed turn due to the timer doesn't seem... Yeah, okay, good. Good call on the Star-Lord. Let's see what we get on the flip. So it's double Star Lording and Shocker, which is just a straight up card, no procs. We're on the second to the last turn. I can, he may, his Hawkeye might fall off and get moved, but I do believe I can block out my middle and prevent card shift. So I have five. I can do a three and a two. I could put Abomination there who might get shifted. I'm gonna put Sentinel over here and put Cyclops over there and hopefully he doesn't get shifted. I don't think he can. Yep. Oh, yeah, see, location full. That was a good plan until, of course, the Strange Academy shift. But um, this Strange Academy, the existing one, went first. Oh, it's happening again. Oh, this is more interesting than I thought. But it looks like my idea was right. Your total power is doubled at this location. Everything is full, so I'm going to put the best card that I own there, which is Hulk, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I don't even see what he did. Hmm. Don't even see what the person did. There is a mechanic where you can double down on the cubes that you can win from this game. It's called the Snap. Uh, I don't have that unlocked yet. So we're going to collect the rewards. Cyclops is going up, which gives me collection level. I get a completed daily mission, which is season pass experience. We're going to go to the season pass. We've leveled up, and now we've earned an Ant-Man avatar. 
So there you go, guys. There is Marvel Snap, how to install it, and an example piece of gameplay. As you can see, the game is designed to be very, very fast. Probably awesome to do on phones, maybe while you're uh, having a little commute or a little quick thing at lunch, or if you are still doing said thing, a little smoke break, or just, you know, maybe stepping outside for a quick game at work, just chilling out a little bit. So there you go, guys. Marvel Snap from Ben Brody and Second Dinner of Hearthstone fame. That's how to install it, and that's a little example of how to play it. Catch you guys later.